Hey guys, what we got here is some uh, elk steak from 2015. I didn't harvest this elk myself. This is uh, actually some wild game from uh, my uncle up in Manitoba. So uh, we brought him up some sausage, some homemade sausage we made, and uh, just you know, we it's quite common between us and my family members and me. We uh, we uh, trade wild game quite a bit. So just gonna cut this open. Here. As you can see, wild game too, there's quite a bit of blood. Quite a bit of blood in it. Okay, I just gave it a quick rinse here in the uh, sink here. Beautiful cuts of steak here. Nice cuts. It's almost a shame to uh, turn it into meatloaf, but I'm craving some meatloaf. And there's plenty more of this elk. I got a couple more packs of steaks up in the freezer, so I'm not too worried about it. Just need some. Uh, some breadcrumbs for this recipe, so let's take two pieces of white bread here and break it up a bit and I'm going to throw it in a little food processor here and make some breadcrumbs. It should make pretty easy work of this. So, so it should pr make pretty easy work of this here. <laughs> So two slices of bread roughly comes out to uh, one cup. Okay guys, so the next step here we're going to take our elk steak here. Like I said, beautiful piece of meat, real dark. You can see elk is really dark meat. And uh, we're just going to cube this steak up in a little smaller pieces and we're going to throw it in our food processor and uh, make chopped meat out of it. So just to show you don't need a uh, meat grinder per se make ground beef and ground any meat at all. You just want to do each bit of meat in batches. You don't want to overload the uh, Give it a couple pulses. Unplug this. Let's see if that's the texture I'm looking for. That's about the texture I'm looking for. So perfect. So I'm just gonna see that's the you can see that's the right consistency I'm looking for here. Just like ground ground beef. Nothing to it. Yeah, sure there's a little bit more prep work in uh, grinding your own meat and stuff like that, but I mean, I know exactly what's going into this, you know what I mean? I'm just going to go ahead and cut it all up right now. You know, I'm, I know exactly what's going into uh, this meatloaf that I'm making, so... This is actually would be pretty high grade uh, ground meat because it's nice steak cuts it's not uh, not the leftover it's not the scrap it's uh, actual cuts of meat that's a beautiful piece right there it's almost a it is almost a shame to cut that up how pretty that is so I'd say that's roughly about uh, a pound of ground meat there, ground elk, so uh, it's not bad. Okay, so I have no uh, set recipe for this, I'm kind of just going to go off the top of my head here, kind of, that's usually how I cook a lot, except for when it comes to like baking and stuff like that, but uh, I'm going to throw a little bit of onion in there, uh, jalapeno, and a little bit of onion soup mix, so, and breadcrumbs of course, as you see. Just gonna get to chopping some veggies. Okay, 
Okay, so let's say that's about a half onion right there. Take the jalapeno. Probably not going to put the whole jalapeno in there as well. Probably about a half a jalapeno, I'd say. So, we're going to take our meat. I'm actually going to take a little bit. This might seem weird to you guys, but uh, a little bit of sesame oil. Okay, so just add an egg here. I'm just going to add one egg to start off, yolk and all. Just to start off to see if uh, how the consistency consistency turns out. Go ahead and put a little bit of ketchup in there. And this is also why I took it easy on the uh, on the jalapeno because I'm putting a little bit uh, a little bit of sriracha in there. Also a little bit of garlic powder, not too much. Eh, maybe a little bit more. There we go. Of course, pepper, black pepper. A little bit of salt. I'm gonna go ahead and add my onion. Next thing you know, I'm gonna mix this stuff together real quick here. Do all kind of the wet first and then I'm going to do the dry. I have to dry too. Okay, add a little bit of breadcrumbs here. Uh, onion soup mix before I add more breadcrumbs because the soup mix will thicken it up as well. You kind of want it to be able to, uh, the thickness you're looking for is you kind of want it to be a ball. Like it will form a ball and be able to stay that. So that's actually getting pretty close to there what I want right now. Okay, this is how I'm going to do this here. I'm going to take a uh, layer of tin foil here. Just put a paper towel here. I'm just going to put a thin layer of butter on this tin foil. It's not necessary, but. I like the way it tastes. Okay, go ahead and just gonna straight up plop that right in the center. And all I'm going to do with this is straight up make a little loaf here. I got the oven preheating at uh, 350, so once that's preheated, put it in there for about 45 minutes, I'd say. So I'm just going to roll it up with this. Roll up the ends. I'm just going to go ahead and I'm just going to put it in this roaster here, this small roaster. So, just like, just like that. Well, let's try this real quick here. Awesome, guys. Awesome. So. You can see how easy that was to make. Here you go, guys. There's some uh, elk meatloaf. Thanks for watching.